If you are in that wheelchair, I don't care if you are trying to stand up. It doesn't matter that you are reaching for the glass of water and you just need a little bit more. Put the locks on your damn brakes because you know your ass will tip out and fall. Swinging and banging with the University of Gratitude podcast, a daily show of entertainment, education, and inspiration for anybody dealing with abandonment, chronic illness, or the physical limitations. Grab your gratitude journal and let's put these stories together so we have more positive thoughts. Give me something to celebrate and recharge my shit, Professor Kendrick. December 26th is the last Monday of 2022. So let's celebrate National Winers Day. National Winers Day kicked off in 1986. Dr. No, Reverend Kevin Zaborny kicked this off as a day because people are always whining and complaining about what they didn't get this year, what they didn't get for Christmas. Damn that. You are supposed to get over that. Get it out your chest and then relax. Find shit to be grateful about. List off things to be grateful about. Write down your stories of what to be grateful about. Every year on National Winners Day, they even release a person or somebody who has been the most whiniest person of the year. And that's supposed to help kick off and make everybody else write down their gratitudes and be grateful because they realize whoever that is, is not grateful at all. Lindsay Lohan has won it. Donald Trump has won it. And last year, it was awarded to the Karen. National Honors Day, y'all. Kick that shit off and then just be grateful. Yo, real talk. What made you stop scrolling through your phone today? James Harden returning to Houston. James Harden coming right back here to the H-Town had me not only stop scrolling on my phone, but dog, your boy actually brought this up to his own wife. Had a full conversation with this about her. Number one, no, I do not think it is a terrible idea. I, I'm actually down with it. I think it's a grown man move that he would learn from his mistakes. Because he went to the New Jersey Nets and that shit did not work out. Fucking with Kyrie Irving and them. Oh, that was an absolute train wreck. And now you are in Philadelphia and Joel Embiid is on your ass. Yo, do you just want to come home and chill and just do your damn me thing. Yep. I get that. But come off the bench and you come back as a free agent because you get no returns and no trips and nothing else. God Squad is Gratitude Over Disabilities. That's my latest playlist on the YouTube channel, Kendrick Avant. The bright spot of this week is that 2022 is coming to an end and we are starting up 2023 next week. That means this week is the time to finish up and organize everything that you're trying to get done for this year. And then you've got to move on. The bright spot of this week is the moving on, is the organization, is the finalizing whatever you thought you could or couldn't do. It's over with. And now you've got to transition and move into a new period, a new year, a new beginning, new goals, new starts, new healing, all of that. Whether you are disabled, living in a wheelchair, or dealing with your issues of abandonment, it's time to move on. That is the bright spot of this week. Run. Bro, my gratitude is extra small, so y'all got to work with me, man. This, um, my story is kind of long. Let me just get into it. I had to write, I had to write small trying to make everything fit. So my number one gratitude. I am grateful I got that medical power of attorney and the statutory durable power of attorney done. I understand the difference between the two now. I kind of always knew, but I never really gave a damn before. I've always told the wife, always been clear with the wife. 
I don't want like if you own the machines and they got and they got to do that type of shit to keep me going, yo pull that plug, dog. I don't I don't need to keep going that way. We've had we've had some hard discussions. I'm grateful because it forced me to have those hard discussions. We had to talk about, you know, like what like what would your family think? All that type of shit. Yeah, all that all that had to go down. So I can now focus on what I'm supposed to do with the business. Because you always think about the medical power of attorney and somebody pulling the plug and stuff like that. You don't really think about that statutory durable power of attorney. That's all your credit, all your debt. You don't let that shit slapped on your family and friends. You really, really don't. That forces you to really consider shit that you are doing, the potential, where, you, where you're trying to go. It really does, man. Real talk. I'm grateful for all of that. And I'm grateful because I now know I have a lot of shit to do and things I know I can do. If I just stick to the plan and write out my board and do all my stuff. So that's number one. Fred or two, and I'm grateful I got that shit done. Woo. Don't relax and take notes. Niggas, this niggas, this needs to wake up. Niggas, this niggas, this niggas need to relax and take notes. Niggas, this niggas, this needs to wake up. Niggas, this niggas, this niggas need to relax and take notes. While I take, while I take, while I take, while I take. number two. My wife likes her Christmas gift. I created a digital coupon book for my wife. 12 things. I put them in a coupon form. 12 things I am going to do in 2023. Stuff like get a new stuff like get a new front door, a green front door for the house. I put stuff like uh, I'm going to sponsor a girls luncheon. Um Trips for the family to Galveston. I put all kinds of little stuff in there. And not everything was monetary. Maybe everything was. Either way, it is between she and I. Regardless, I made a matching video to go with it. And I'm motivated, of course, because of doing all that power of attorney stuff and the statutory doable power of attorney type stuff and realizing what I can do with the business and how far I can grow with it. All that goes into the couponing and the digital creation and I just feel like I, I know where I'm going with all this man I, I really do so I'm motivated by all that type of stuff I'm crunk off my own growth and I can feel I can see the potential it's like it's, it's like the potential of where I can go with this is dapping me up every day all year she's going to turn in these coupons as I etch this stuff off and get this stuff knocked off this is going to be cool as hell. That's going to, um, I have been paying attention to her stressors. I've been paying attention to, I feel like her, what her relaxers are. All that goes with this intense focus on gratitude, man. You, you it, it improves your communication. Make sure I tell you, trying to tell y'all, if you cannot get better, damn it, you can always be better. A better person, a better spouse, a better leader, a better teacher. You can be a better you. Get your gratitude done. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to get your mindset over the bullshit. You'll learn your love language, your brain hemisphere, learning style. We're going to meditate together, put in yoga, and of course, we're going to build your own gratitude journal. 90 days, you and I. Last gratitude. Surprise, surprise, I earned my very first pay Facebook paycheck. Got that shit directly deposited into my account. I'm grateful because I got paid and net paid off the Netflix bill. This is the way manifestation works. My daughter had just complained, like, yo, the Netflix doesn't doesn't work, y'all. It's, it's out. I think I think it's with that. I think it's been canceled or or, or suspended. And then, boom, just like that, you get the Netflix, the first ever Netflix paycheck. Got the account taken care of. Yo, this shit was, um, that was, it, people, y'all have no idea. When you work these gratitudes out and you see how these stories come together, I'm trying to tell you, when she's talking about the Netflix and you're looking like, damn, I ain't got that much, I, 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 I don't even have, have, have that much in my account. And then the Facebook stuff comes through and out of nowhere, boom, pay that shit off. 
it just makes you realize how far and further you can take your manifestations, you can take your potential. If you can make this happen for the Netflix account, then you can make this happen for maybe the water bill and the electric bill, the insurance, the mortgage, the trips, everything. It's all about the potential and where you see things going. So I'm super duper grateful for that. Plus, Plus, we have plans to watch that um, the new Netflix docuseries, Don't Answer the Phone. And that shit was crazy. Cat Williams became a philosopher to me in 2008 when he said, you better get your seven laughs in for your mental health. Good people, be pretty, stay grateful. I salute you. I appreciate all of your participation, your attendance. Get your gratitude is done. I'm out.